Hello viewers, I am Sapna Shukla, former assistant professor, Amity School of Engineering and Technology, Amity University. In this video, we will be learning basics of spreadsheet. So, let us understand what is a spreadsheet first. So, a spreadsheet is a large sheet having data and information arranged in rows and columns. The data in the sheet is usually related to each other. So, let us uh, take an example like students name, marks in various subjects can be made up into a spreadsheet that can form a spreadsheet. Similarly, employees data like the name, address, salary, designation etc can also be made up into a spreadsheet. You use spreadsheet basically because it is a calculating tool which is used to solve problems involving data analysis, numerical computation. So, after this introduction, let us first understand what will be the learning objectives from this video. To understand how to work with MS Excel 2007, to learn how can modification formatting of the worksheet be done, to understand how to format spreadsheet before printing and we will also learn to protect a workbook. So, let us first explore the Excel environment. So, over here you can see that there is a Microsoft button over here which you basically use to access uh, important options such as new, save, save as and print. Then you have the tabbed ribbon menu system which is used to navigate Excel and access its various commands. Okay. Then we have the quick access toolbar over here on the top besides the Microsoft Office button. So this uh, quick access toolbar is basically you can customize it and usually it has got do and undo buttons. Similarly, when you open the uh, worksheet, you will have three worksheets which are by default there. You can add worksheet, you can delete worksheet. Then you also have a horizontal scroll bar, page views, zoom tool to zoom the uh, screen. Okay. So, at the these are the things which are at the bottom left area of the spreadsheet. Okay. So, let us understand with a demo. So, let me open a excel sheet for you. So, you can see this is an excel. So, how do I open it? I open it using the Microsoft button. I click a new button and when I click new, I can uh, create a blank workbook. This is how I can create a blank worksheet. Over here, I have entered some data okay, so that we can save time. So, I can scroll this using vertical scroll bar to look at the different options. And you also have the option of seeing the page layout options, the normal view that you can see and you can also look at page break preview. So, this is showing the page break preview wherein uh, this is your sheet, it uh, shows that there are two pages involved in printing. When you print this worksheet, it will be printed in two pages. So, what you can do is you can just drag this and you can click like this. You can drag with the help of mouse and you can just make this into one page. So, that option is also there. Okay. So, I am going back to the normal view. So, you can also see the name box over here. This is your uh, name box. This is the formula bar. And when you open any Excel file, usually these are the different cells. Okay, This is one cell. So, this cell is named B1. That is uh, column B and row 1. And similarly, this is B2. Similarly, this is B3. Okay. So, let us see how do we work on a workbook. So, you will need to know how to insert text numbers into Excel workbook to be able to use it to calculate, analyze and organize data. So, basically over here, if I have to insert, let us say at the end, let me insert a text. So, let us say I want to enter Sapna. So, I just click on a particular cell and I type the name. So, this is a marks in a particular subject. So, let me say I have got 78 in this. You can enter 45 in this. Let us say he is good at this subject 90 and 45 and let us say 98 in this subject. Okay. So, these are the 5 subjects that are of this particular student Sapna and uh, these are the marks scored by that particular student and similarly, I have already entered the marks. Okay. So, different data types in the excel sheets that you can type over here. So, numbers. Your numbers can be from the entire range of numeric values, whole numbers, 
decimals and scientific notation as well. Okay. So, Excel displays scientific notation automatically if you enter a number that is too long to be viewed in its entirety in a cell. So, may you may see uh, number signs like hash. Let us say if I try to decrease this, you can see that this number is being displayed in the form of hash. So, you just have to widen the column and the data will be displayed in a normal format. Okay. So, we also have date and time. So, when you enter dates and times, Excel converts these entries into serial numbers and keeps it as background information. However, the dates and times will be displayed to you on the worksheet in a format opted by you. So, basically how do we format date? Let us say I am just uh, trying to show you how you can see the option of dates. So, over here this is the date column. So, I have just uh, taken name sub marks in 5 subjects. Uh, we will be uh, seeing how to calculate total and uh, let us say the fine uh, is rupees 100 and date paid is for this particular student is 5 6 2016. Similarly, what, what you can do is you can format this date over here. You can usually any column is in general option setting. So, over here when you look at this particular uh, number, it has a general op, uh, setting that is no specific format. Now, if I want this data to be in the currency format. So, what I can do is I can click on the currency format and this fine which is basically should be in terms of rupees. So, now the uh, numbers will come in the format of rupee. So, you can format the whole column also in the same format. So, you can say similarly currency. So, this will be um, in the form of currency. You can uh, just change these numbers in the form of currencies and the normal calculations can be done. Similarly, over here you have a date. So, date is basically uh, you can change the format of the date also. So, let us say if you have to change the format of the date, you can just uh, go to the number subgroup under home tab and click on the uh, down arrow key and you can change the options to these are the uh, default options that are shown. I will just magnify it and you can see that these are the, the various options that are shown. So, over here it is 14 3 2001 and over here it is 14 3 0 1. So, let me select this the date changes to 5 6 16. So, the date now changes to this particular format. So, you have an option to change the format also. So, when you look at these, it is general, you can change it to maybe uh, any particular, you can say it is a number. So, you can change it to um, number format as well or you can make it general. That is up to you now. Okay. Similarly, you also have uh, data in series. I have got a sheet and uh, there are some serial numbers already displayed. So, it is 1, 2, and I want that all serial numbers should be coming because th these are uh, in an increasing order. So, what I want is 1, 2 should be automatically printed besides the rows. So, what I can do is I can just select this 2. So, I will use my shift key and I will press the arrow key and then I just go beside this and I can just drag this. So, when I drag this, the data series automatically comes. Okay. So, this is how you can add uh, data series automatically to your uh, Excel sheet. Okay. Formatting, uh, as I told you that this sheet is not formatted. So, how do I modify the column width? There are certain text which are not getting displayed uh, fully. Okay. So, what I can do is I can uh, modify the column width. I can just go to the headings and uh, I can see the my cursor now changes to a double arrow and I can just double click on this. So, when I double click, my whole text gets displayed. I can, there is another option that I can uh, just go at the top, my a cursor changes to double arrow and I, and I can drag this also. So, as we want. So, I can drag this and change my column width. Similarly, if I want to change my uh, row width, the same way you can go to the headings at the row. Let us say 5, I want to drag this and I want to change the height, I can change the height as I require. Okay. We also have an option to do the formatting uh, okay. under home tab you can go to the cells subgroup and you can format you can uh, select the format option and under that you can you know select the row height or you have the column width to customize the column width and the row height by manually or you can use auto fit row height to you know change the column width and the row height automatically. Okay. Let us say how do I uh, delete a particular row or a column? So, what I can do is I can click, let us say I want to delete this percentage column, I do not want to calculate the percentage right now. So, what I can do is I can just click on the heading 
and I right click and I say delete. So if I use this option, if I delete this, you can see that the column percentage has been deleted from the worksheet. Okay. Usually this is uh, data and I want you know data to be printed in the form of a table. So usually the table has got uh, borders. So by default, if I print this without uh, formatting, there will be no borders printed. So what I can do is I can select, okay, I select control A where whatever the text is. What you can do is you can just click on the font option and under the font, you can go to this uh, bottom border and you can click all borders. So you can see that there are borders surrounding the different columns and the rows in the in the worksheet okay similarly you can you know change the color of the border you can change the style line style of the border okay so you can see that this has been formatted now okay you can see all the not there so what i'll do is i'll just click this i'll click biology also i'll click chemistry also so what i can see now is my whole text is getting displayed there is no uh, text which is not shown fully okay so now let's see how do we select add um, or rename a worksheet. So the worksheets in a workbook are accessible by clicking the worksheet tabs. To insert a new worksheet before an existing worksheet, what we can do is we can just, uh, these are the different sheets. I can uh, just click, if I have to add a sheet towards the end, I can just click this option. I hope you are able to see, but I'll just magnify this. So you, what you can do is you can just click this option, okay, and you can add a sheet. So sheet 4 has been added, you can see that sheet 4 has been added. You can you rename this worksheet, okay, you can rename this to let's say student details. One sheet is let's say student marks, it contains student marks, the other can be student details, okay. So this is how you can rename a worksheet as well. If I have to add a sheet, let's say in between, what I can do is I can right click the mouse and I can say insert. If I want to insert a worksheet, I'll just say okay. And you can see that just before sheet 2, there is a sheet 5 which is inserted. So I'll just zoom this. You can see that we had sheet 1, we had sheet 2, we had sheet 3 in series. I have added sheet 5 in between sheet 2 and sheet 1. That was by just click on the sheet 2 and right click and you can just click insert. The sheet 5 will be inserted. Similarly, you can add at the end also. You can rename a worksheet just by click, right clicking the mouse and just click on the rename option. So this is how you can rename worksheets, you can insert worksheets, okay. Now let's say you have to copy, you have a sheet and let's say you want to cut copy paste, okay. That is a very basic functionality that we always use. So what I can do is, let's say I'm trying to show you how we can copy the data from the same uh, worksheet okay so what you can do is let's say i want to copy the first row so i can just click on the first row and i want to copy let's say this content okay and i press uh, on the keyboard i press control c i'm just copying the content let's say to a new and i press control plus v so this option you can use to copy the content from one location to another similarly if you want to uh, let's say uh, cut the content from a particular location, you can press Ctrl plus X and copy that content to a new location similarly using Ctrl plus C, okay. These are the options that are available in Microsoft Word, in fact, in all the Office products. Freeze panes option. This is a very nice option, uh, freeze panes. Let's say I've got a, a list of, a big list of uh, students, okay. I've got uh, over here, I can see there are, um, I'll just delete this row, this so I right click and I delete this particular row. So let's say I've got a list of uh, 31 students and my 31 students I can't see it. What happens is when I scroll down, you know, column headings are missing. This serial number, name, this marks is in which subject, I'm not able to see that. So what I can do is I can, you know, freeze this particular first row. Pain. What I have to do is I have to go to the view option. In the view option, I've got a, in the window subgroup, what I do is I click on the freeze panes option. So freeze panes, you can just click on freeze top row. There, this option is available to you so that the top row can be freezed. So when you look at this, this top row will be freezed. When you scroll down, only this top row will be visible. Other things will be scrolling. This will remain stationary. Or there is another option that 
you can freeze let's say if you want to freeze one two three three columns or let's say just one two columns you can freeze that as well okay so if you want to freeze that you can use the option the first option let's say if you want to freeze the first two columns use the first option if you just have to freeze let's say the top row you can just click on the freeze top row now when i scroll you can see that the first row remains stationary while you can just uh, drag down and you can see you know it's it's easier to understand the data now right so this is how you can uh, use freeze panes option so uh, now let us do some very basic calculations okay i have got a spreadsheet and uh, um, there are marks with me so uh, let me show you very basic calculation so what i'll do is let's say i have to calculate total so let me go to the home tab in home tab i've got an auto sum feature in the auto sum feature what i can do is i can just i want to add these numbers okay i want the uh, total to be displayed over here so i can just click on the uh, auto sum feature click on the sum feature and you just press enter so my total gets displayed i can copy this uh, formula once again into all the uh, 31 students uh, entries so what i can do is just click on the this particular wherever the output was displayed you just go you can see that my cursor now changes to a plus sign i'll just drag this down to my 31 rows you can see that the formula is copied to all the rows over here okay this is how we can copy the content basically that is formula auto sum similarly let's say if you have to uh, max you have to find the maximum so what if let's say in maths what is the average and what is the maximum marks how do i uh, do that so for that what i can do is once again i have a option of i can select a particular uh, cell and i can select average i can select maximum minimum and to show you know uh, from a particular column i can select that option also so this basically spreadsheet gives you uh, options to do calculations in a very easy way okay so let's say uh, this uh, sheet is completed and uh, i want to uh, print this sheet okay so first thing that i need to do is uh, you know set page page breaks because maybe uh, i have got a big work, uh, worksheet and uh, this worksheet is not visible on a page so uh, okay on a page or maybe i want uh, the content to be displayed in two pages so or maybe i want that particular column should be displayed in one page and the other column should be displayed on another page so how can I, I can do that using page breaks okay to set page breaks within the worksheet select the row you want to appear uh, just below the page break and uh, let's say uh, i want a page break over here before the 15th uh, row okay so what i can do is i can just uh, click on the page layout option and i can add breaks so i can go to the page setup uh, menu sub menu and i can click on insert page break so over here you can see that there is a page break which has been inserted so this is basically uh, you can see a different uh, line being shown over here so i can just click on the page break preview so i can see that this page is basically a this whole whole page will be a new page i can see over here this is this yellow line shows me that this is a new page i can also go for page preview okay so over here so my page is shown over here see i can see these are the different pages similarly i can uh, set the margins also for setting the margins you can just uh, click on the under the page setup subgroup you can click on the margins option so margins you can set it to normal wide narrow there are the three and you can customize the margins as well okay similarly you can uh, just click on the orientation uh, uh, option to set the uh, layout to be uh, you know portrait or landscape okay so you also have uh, you can click on the down uh, arrow key which is just beside the page setup and you can uh, you can customize it over here how the uh, printout will be looking like okay so here uh, sim uh, you had the option over here similarly you will have margins over here you can add header footer as well so over here you can see i have already added a footer page 1 when I, whenever something gets displayed it should display as page number 1 okay if you want to change that you can change that also you have various options you can customize the footer also okay so uh, this is how you can you know uh, do the uh, page setup uh, before printing okay so uh, 
let me show now how do you uh, you know uh, there is an option uh, how do you see the data you know before printing anything how do you see the data so just go to microsoft office button and click on the print preview option to see how the data will look like okay so this is how the print preview is page number one and page number two okay i can set this okay i can see the margins i can uh, double click on these to set the margins also i can just drag this okay if something is not getting displayed i can just uh, do the uh, settings in the uh, 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 print preview option also then uh, let me show you how do i protect a worksheet okay how do i uh, so uh, i don't want my workbook to be manipulated uh, by uh, let's say uh, uh, user who is not authorized to okay uh, maybe i want to share the document but i don't want any unnecessary changes so for that what you can do is when i uh, save this particular microsoft excel document i can go to the save as let's say i save it before saving what i need to do is i need to do some settings so for that you need to click on the tools option so over here bef before saving you need to set some passwords so over here you can click the tools option so just go to the general options and over here you can see that you know there is a password you can create a password to open the file that is you don't want any reviewer to open the file uh, without the password so you can just type a password let's say i have typed a password similarly if i want that nobody one if somebody is able to open the worksheet i don't want him to modify the worksheet so once again i want let's say i once again give a password okay a different password and uh, uh, this option should be clicked let's say if the person uh, wants to modify uh, or maybe he wants to see the data and maybe he wants to save a copy of it he he can open a read only uh, document and do whatever changes he wants to and just click okay okay you have to re enter the pa password again okay once again i'll enter the password for it will ask you any password usually is asked two times so that uh, i myself you know don't have confusion in the passwords okay and then you click uh, save okay so next time when you open this uh, file okay so i've not given a file name so let me give a file name to this marks okay and uh, let me see where is it being saved let me say i save it in uh, neos folder and i click now save so my worksheet gets saved now next time when you open the worksheet anybody tries to open the worksheet what will happen is it will try to uh, first ask for the uh, password to open it and then then so let me close this worksheet now and i'll just go to the neos folder so that i can show you how it gets opened so here's the neos folder in the neos folder i had saved a uh, marks so when i open the marks uh, sheet see i had uh, given two passwords one was to open and one was to uh, uh, modify so over here you can see that it is asking for a password so when i enter password it will give me this option i say okay okay so this is how uh, you know uh, you can use passwords basically to uh, secure your documents so we learned how to start working with ms excel we learned how a modification formatting of the worksheet be done we now know how to format spreadsheet before printing we also learned how to protect a worksheet so we need to uh, practice these students so that uh, we become comfortable with the commands thank you so much